The bar made up his mind to return to the great forest with Arthur and Celeste and their mothers. When everything was ready for the journey, Babar kissed his old friend goodbye. He promised to come back to her and never to forget her. The old lady was left alone, sadly thinking, when shall I see my little Babar again? <laughs> no room for the mother elephants in the car, so they ran along behind, lifting their trunks so as not to breathe in the dust. <laughs> choose a new king. Just at that moment, they had heard a noise and turned around. What a wonderful sight they saw. It was Babar arriving in his car <laughs> with all the elephants running and shouting, here they are, here they are. Oh, they've come back. Hello, Babar. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Celeste. What lovely clothes. What a beautiful car. Then Cornelius, the oldest of all, said in a quavering voice, My dear friends, we must uh, have a new king. Uh, why not choose Babar? He has come back from the town where he's lived among humans and learnt much. Let us offer him the crown. All the elephants thought that Cornelius had spoken wisely, and they listened eagerly to hear what Babar would have to say. Oh. I, I thank you all, said Babar, but before accepting the crown, I, I must tell you that on our journey back in the car, Celeste and I got engaged to be married. If I become your king, uh, she will be your queen. 
Long live Queen Celeste! Long live King Babar! The elephant shouted with one voice, and that is how Babar became King! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 